Hello everyone, I'm Elijah. Welcome to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down video games. And it sounds just like this. Alright, for this part I'm going to break down the intro and also verse 1. We're playing in the key of F sharp minor. And for the chords, we're starting with F sharp minor, the 1 chord. So that's F sharp on the left, F sharp and A right hand. So I'm using 3 notes, 1 for the left, 2 for the right. Then we have A major playing A on the left, A and C sharp, right hand, followed by C sharp minor, C sharp, C sharp and E, and then D, D for the left, D and F sharp for the right. Okay, after that we're going to replay the same chords but using different voicings. We're going to use larger voicings. So we have again F sharp minor, now playing this way, with octave F sharp on the left, C sharp, A and C sharp for the right hand. Moving up to A, octave A, E, A and E. Then C sharp minor, octave C sharp down here, with E, G sharp and E for the right. And from here to get to D, we're going to move up the left by one half step to play octave D. And then take down the right by one whole step to play D, F sharp and D again. So we have D major. And that's all for the chords. Now let's take a look at the playing pattern for the intro. It goes like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So we're starting with this back and forth between F sharp minor and A major. We're going to do that for the entire measure. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Then we have C sharp minor on the first beat of the next measure. Move in to D on the second beat. And then we're going to hold the chord for the rest of the measure. One, two, three, four. So again, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And that's the first part of the intro. Here's the second part of it. So in terms of the chord progression, we're almost playing the same thing, but now we're using different voicings. Remember, the larger voicings. So we have F sharp minor, A, F sharp minor, back to A. And now we have C sharp minor, first beat, D on the second, and then we're going to finish with F sharp minor played once again on the third beat. So one, two, three, four, one, 
two, three, four. And that's the second part of the intro. Let's replay everything from the top. Three, four, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, great. Now let's move on to verse one. I'm going to repeat what we had in the intro. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then we're going to continue with the same chord progression we had in the intro, but instead of using the large voicings, we're going to stay using the small voicings, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So same exact chord progression, back and forth between F sharp minor and A. And then we have C sharp minor, going up to D, and then F sharp minor on the third beat. So from the top, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's the first part of verse one. For the second part, we're going to pretty much replay the same chord progression, but we're going to add something on the right hand. It will go like this. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and. So, I played the same thing. But here, on the third beat, I went up using my right hand, playing this, F sharp, A, and F sharp. Notice that I'm not playing those notes at the same time, like this, but I'm rolling. So that's on the third beat, and then on the end of the third, I'm going to add D with my fourth finger. So I have my thumb on F sharp, index on A, pinky on F sharp, and then fourth finger here on D. Three and four and. Three and four and. One, two, three, four. One, two, three and four and. Then continue with the chord progression. One, two, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and. So I play the same thing, finishing with F sharp minor on the third beat, and then next measure, I'm playing C sharp minor on the first beat, D on the second, and then this movement on the third. And that's how I'm going to finish verse one. One, two, three, and four, and. So let's replay again the entire verse and count. It goes like this. Two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, three. Second part. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one. Okay, right after that, we're starting the chorus playing over an E major chord. And I'm going to see that in the second part. For now, let's recap.
And that's it for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.